Yeah, talk about that a little bit. A lot of new faces. How would you describe the chemistry? Um, everybody tries to bring their good first impression, their best first impression. <clears throat> I feel like that's working out for us really good. Just all the guys being bought, being bought in. You know, everybody's new here, so you know they, you know, everybody tries really hard. So uh, I think that's working out in our favor right now. How would you describe your game at this point? Where are you at going into this season as a player? Um, I got a real physical mindset. Um, I'm going to get to my spots. I really want to live at the free throw line this year. I put on some weight um, just so I can be more of a mismatch problem. Worked on my three my three ball a lot so I can stretch out the defense and uh, just create a little more for myself. Does that kind of go along with your personal goals for, for the season, kind of dominate down there? Yeah, yeah just be a little more uh, dominant uh, and assertive. You know, Coach looks to me to be that guy right now for me to you know rip hard, get to the basket, do a big plays, and get others involved a little bit more. You had a knee situation. Can you tell us about that? Where are you at in the recovery process? Oh, um, I'll be back in a couple of weeks. It was just like a little scope. It wasn't really nothing too much. Um, I just been on the bike every day, um, making sure that my stamina is, is up there with my teammates, and just little things, strength, condition, all that. How would you describe yourself as a leader on the court? Uh, right now, I'm more of the vocal leader. Um, that's something that I really haven't had to do the past couple of years at UCF, being that there was other guys here that was here before me. But um, with everybody being new, I'm more of that like vocal leader that we look for. Is that kind of a hard adjustment for you to be more vocal on the court and kind of step into that role? <clears throat> nah, not for real, cause like that was kind of my that was like my role in high school. It was like more so weird for me not to have that role. So, if if this team is doing what you and coaches hope that it can do, what will fans see night in and night out? Um, shoot, just a level five every day. We got a saying: level five practice, um, championship level practices. They correlate the championship in the games. Um, a lot of excitement, um, a lot of energy, and just we're all bought in right now, so it's a good season. Why do you think this team can compete for an American Athletic Conference championship? You're familiar with this league now. You know the Houstons and what they bring. Why can you guys be there at the end? Uh, I say we're just uh, more of a disciplined team than we were previously. And, you know, discipline goes a long way. Um, I've been a part of teams, and all the teams that have been winning teams have been the most disciplined. So uh, everybody's new here. We don't want to, you know, cause any problems with our discipline. We get to where we need to be at on time, schoolwork, you know, all that stuff. So it's going to show on the court. Even before this school goes to the Big 12, there's going to be a lot of games you guys are on the national stage this year. Do you guys kind of kind of feel that and you're looking forward to being on the national stage this year a lot? Yeah, um, like I said, an opponent is an opponent for real, no matter where. I came from Pac-12 because I played at Oregon. Came here um, after playing for like both of those conferences, I, I, I came to the assumption that, you know, opponent is opponent. That's really what I have to say about it. Thanks.